Hi, this is Saev Moten with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. So let's take again take a look again at the euro currency. Well yesterday's price action was a bit more interesting as you can see. This market finally has left the consolidation, the tight consolidation of the hourly time frame and has shown the uh, some acceleration right to the upper board of this uh, wider consolidation that now definitely looks like the rectangle on the daily time frame. Well as we said that the some sort of the Consolidation retracement after the hidden of the 133.80 area is reasonable since that is the area of weekly uh, minor extension targets 618 extension of the ABCD weekly ABCD pattern as well as the monthly weekly pivot uh, sorry monthly resistance uh, pivot resistance one that's why some sort of the tight retracement is absolutely normal in the current environment. Uh, the price section is interesting since you can see that market has returned right back above the MACD indicator. So it has turned trend to the bullish side again. Well, uh, it's difficult to say could we treat it as the stop grabber pattern, uh, the two day stop grabber since that was the returning right back below MACD and on the next day market has re-established the bull trend. That could be treated as some sort of the stop grabber pattern. Anyway, this price action has definitely the bullish uh, bias. So overall price action here looks like um, as said yesterday that chances to the upside um, I think that they are greater than the potential reversal to the downside and uh, return right back below break out of this low border and starting to move to the downside. Especially because we have uncompleted ABCD pattern on the daily time frame with the target is around 134.30 area. Speaking shortly, this uh, price action on the this trading session just uh, confirms my thought that um, probably indeed market intends to show some uh, upward move. Uh, it's difficult to say uh, will will this move uh, proceed after 134.30 area or market will stop there. But uh, in the short term perspective the reaching of the 134.30 now has more chances than it was previously. On the 4 hour time frame sorry, on the 4 hour time frame we see this some sort of the triangle so if uh, trend has turned bullish as well on the 4 hour time frame you can see it nice acceleration to the upside. Well if we draw this upward border with this extreme point and that extreme point then this now looks like the retesting of the broken upward line. But if we will draw it on the precisely on the highs, then we will see that market is still inside of the triangle. So if market will take it out of this 133.90 area, then probably we could say the triangle is broken. But uh, currently this is a bit not so obvious. So depending on the line that you use when you draw this triangle. Anyway, since we see the upward continuation of the market, we have bullish and four hour time frame. Uh, we have trends on the four hour time frame and on the daily time frame on the bullish side. And we do not see any bearish patterns right now. So probably uh, if you would like to trade on the long side of the market, you should you could try to search the possibility to enter on the long side. If you are bearish, then for you probably is to wait to wait either 134.30 area, completing of the ABCD pattern when the market could start the retracement, or you should hope that this breakout will will fail or break out, and if market will return right back inside of the border of this triangle, well you will have chances to possess yourself on the short side of the market, or even if if market will show the breakout to this lower border. So uh, for bears, this is some time for expectation rather than active trading for bulls. Mm, that is precisely the swing that bulls should stick with. That is the tradable swing. Now for the uh, for those of you who have the bullish view on the market. Now 
on the hourly time frame the most interesting situation, most interesting picture for us. Here we see two consolidations that we have discussed previously. And we said that take a look that in fact market was struggled with uh, this top of this higher consolidation, greater consolidation. So you can see this tight range uh, hasn't allowed market to continue move to the upside. It was the barrier for upward continuation here and here. So market has protected this area, this consolidated top here and in this previous step. But what we see now, market has entered inside of it. So that is some sort of the upward intermediate upward breakout. After that we see ABCD retracement to the downside, retesting of the upper border of this tight range. By the way, if you will measure the width height of this range and count it to the upside, that is the classical approach for estimating of the target of the potential uh, breakout of the rectangles, you will get the 134.40 area. So that is precisely 10 pips higher than uh, the target on the daily time frame. It's very interesting. Also we see this uh, bullish divergence that we have discussed yesterday. This market stands and creates the lower lows, but the missing indicator show upward uh, direction. As you can see market now has broken to the upside. So uh, what could be done in current environment? Let's take a look on the 30 minute chart. The uh, on the 30 minute chart we see the small stressing swing that is our tradable swing on the market. This is ABCD retracement that I have talked about. Take a look that this is also the 3.8 support, 133.50 area from that low to that high. Slightly lower we see the confidence support, 133.43 uh, area, on the 30 minute chart on the hourly minute chart. So I prefer that market holds above this confidence support area somewhere near the upward border of this parallel channel. Because if market will break it to the downside and will move below the 133.40, that will tell us that it has returned right back inside of this rectangle and it will be a very significant probability that market will continue to move right to the lower border of this consolidation at minimum. Also that could become the uh, failure breakout on the 4 hour time frame. So moving below the 133.40 area, this will be return inside of the body of this triangle. That is also will be not very welcome for bullish development. That's why this area is significant. Uh, per it will be perfect if market will hold right as it stands now. So that will be ABCD testing of the broken border and upward continuation. That will be absolutely great. So uh, that is your um, task for current trading session where you intend to enter on the long side of the market if you have the bullish view and where will you place this top order. That will be very significant because this uh, a lot of different combinations depending on your risk management uh, on the same time frame where you are trading. That's really the challenge and the task to do in within current trading session. The target as we said is 134.30 area. If market will continue move to the upside, as we said, if you are bullish, then uh, sorry, if you are bearish, then we have discussed this. It's better for you to wait either the failure breakout, in hope that this will be the failure breakout, or hitting of the 134.30 area and wait for the reversal patterns on the lower time frames, since that will be also the resistance. That will be the complement point of the ABCD pattern. Market could show some retracement from that level as well. So that's all for today. Keep an eye on this development. But personally, I think that um, I still hope that market will show the further upward continuation. I think that currently there are more points on the bullish side rather than the bearish. But this is just my humble opinion. Uh, I do not want that you use it as the rule for the trading direct call for uh, making any trades currently on the market. That's just what I think about current situation.